Brewers spring training day 25 would start off with a 1-2-3. The Cubs would go 1-2-3. The Brewers would go 1-2-3 again. The Cubs would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Michael Bush single. Oliver Dunn would get walked and Jackson Churio would hit a single. Joe Ross would come in and give up a single. The Brewers would go 1-2-3 even though Jake Bowers hit a single. The Cubs would go 1-2-3. Yancy Almonte would come in and throw a 1-2-3. Miguel Amaya would get walked and then Nico Horner would get an RBI triple making it 1-0 Cubs. Keegan Thompson would come in and get the first two outs. Then after that he gave up a solo home run to Gary Sanchez making it tied up at 1. Then Jake Bowers got the third out. The Cubs would go 1-2-3. Daniel Palencia would come in and give up a walk and a single. Then he'd get the first two outs of the inning. Oliver Dunn would get an RBI double and Andre Montesario would get a two RBI single making it 4-1 to one Brewers. Jackson Churio would hit a single, Blake Whitney would come in, Gary Sanchez would hit an RBI single. Then Jake Bowers would strike out. The Cubs would go 1-2-3. Richard Lovelady would come in and give up a single and a walk. Tobias Myers would give up a single, double, and a flyout. Blake Wayman would come in and give up a triple and a fielder's choice. Then the Brewers would get back-to-back outs to end of the inning. Juan Morrow would line out, and then Jake Slaughter would hit a single. Joe Hudson would hit a two-run home run, making it 7-4 to four Brewers. And to end out the game, Jorge Alfaro would strike out, and then Parker Sharvers would line out. All right, the Brewers win 7-4. The Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Gary Sanchez. The record is now 14-14-2. If you like what you see, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in some more Strong Training videos.